you want to first cut the chicken in the proper pieces, you know, to, to however you feel like you want them. I like mine kind of thick. Good chicken tenders, good size. You want to cut them in a good size. Then you want to get you a bag. Drop them in a good bag. Different kind of bag, you know. Something different. And, you know, just I say just go down the middle. Some people do them different ways, you know. Some people cut them thin up like this. Some people cut them like this to make them a little thinner. Like they for landing or some shit like that. And, you know, boom. Go right down the middle. So either way you really want to do it, you can do it as long as you get you some nice cuts. This is just how I prefer mine. You ain't got to do yours this way. Uh, yeah. Still kind of froze the other bit. This would be all right. Or you want to make chicken bites, you cut them down this, you could cut them this side or whichever way. But that's how I feel comfortable, man. I like them real nice and fat, juicy, so keep the juice in them. Nice chicken pieces. These some nice cuts here. Nice cuts, you know. All nice cuts. All nice cuts. You know? This one real big, so for this one I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go down the side. And just to, you know, to soak that. And then I'll just cut them in two just to keep them big. Same thing for this one. This one more thinner. But I'll still keep it fat. Take off the SX fat if you don't need it. Shit like this you need. Take it off. Real life. Same thing for this one. This is a real big one. So what I do with this one, I go straight down it. I go straight down it, just like this. I cut in it. Cut right in that boy. Then you go straight down, however you want them, how thick, how thick you want them. Cut them like that. Same thing for this one. Go right down it. You can make them. You can make thin chicken tenders, chicken strips, whatever you want to call them, or you can make them big, whichever one. And again, these are chicken, these are chicken breasts, these are breasts, these are all breasts, chicken breasts, so just remember that these are all breasts, these are all breasts, that's why they're so big, but I'm stripping, I'm making them to strip, a little smaller like tenderloins, like this one, this one's real big, so for him I'm going to do the same thing. You cut down the side or the middle, whatever you want to call it. And I like them kind of big like this, so I'm going to leave them just like that. This one's okay, but I'm going to cut on the side of them, make them small. This one's kind of fat, so instead of me cutting right down the side, I'm going to take it off like that. Go down it. Boom. And this actually makes more pieces, too, if you cut them up like this. Instead of frying them already big. Unless you got a lot of people you got to feed, I say cut them up thinner, you know, make more of them. It's going to be juicy too, I like these, I like these right here. Yeah. Just stripping those up like that, oh, that's the last one guys, this right here is just an extra, little extra fat piece that was on the edge. I can actually use this. It's like a little nugget. That's still good with me. This right here, you see this? This is all fat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all that off. You don't want that on there. When you find it, boom. So then I just go right here, cut down there. So with this, it's real thin. It's okay, but I'm gonna make two out of this. Nice gentle cut, boom. Same for this one. I'm just gonna go down the middle. And yeah, you got two. That's it for right now on this process. Next, I'll show you how to go ahead and get down with your seasoning.